Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is kind of a part two video to the first part of my freezer meal prep for when I have the baby. Baby could be here at any moment, so I'm trying to stash my freezer full of lots of meals for after I have the baby, after my mom leaves, and just as we get back to normal life so that I can have quick and easy dinners. So here we go, making a whole bunch of things to stash my freezer with for when baby is born. The first meal I made was this taco soup, and basically let's just dump everything in a bag and then I'll warm it up later and we'll serve it with sour cream, cheddar cheese, chips, that sort of thing. So in this bag there is some um, beef broth, ground beef, corn, well I think I add the corn later, black beans, sun-dried tomatoes, taco seasoning, peppers, things like that. I do have a recipe video on how to make this soup. It's really delicious. Today I am making some lasagna soup for my freezer meal. This is pretty easy. Just gonna dump a bunch of stuff in bags and put it in the freezer. I'm not gonna add the noodles or the cheese part. I'll add that later. So once this is in the freezer I can just pull it out, put it in the crock pot or whatever to warm up basically cook for a couple hours, meld the flavors together, that sort of thing. Then I'll add some cooked you know, lasagna noodles or I could add like macaroni or whatever kind of pasta. Well that meant Bethany. And then you top it with cottage cheese, mozzarella cheese, and parmesan cheese. So good. So yummy and I think it'll be wonderful for fall. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'll show you what I have in these bags. I do have a recipe for this on my channel here so I'll link that down below. Each bag has onion powder, garlic, basil, oregano, chicken broth, dried cherry tomatoes, uh, red pepper. Um, is that an, it that's in there so far? I think so. And then I'm going to add a can of spaghetti sauce that I made last year. Or two years maybe. And then two thirds pound of ground sausage. My original recipe says half pound, but I just made it a little bit more. Anyway, that's what's going in these bags. Tonight for freezer meal prep, I am doubling dinner, basically. So I'm making sausage stuffing, and we typically have this with some kind of squash on the side, so this time it'll be honey nut squash that I grew from my garden, if I can find it. Gotta figure out which freezer I put it in. Anyway, and some rice. So, typically you're supposed to stuff the stuffing and the squash and bake it and all that. No, I just make the stuffing, and then we have squash on the side. Everybody likes it just fine that way. So anyway, I'm doubling the recipe, but usually we have leftovers, even when I just make one batch. So, hopefully we can eat it tonight, and then put the leftovers into two meal bags and we have two meals out of this. That's my hope. Because, yeah, I didn't want to cook this all and then not eat it to me. So, that's what I'm making. I'm just cooking up the sausage right now. Then I'm going to fry up some onions and celery. And I'm going to add up some chopped apples to it. Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs. And it'll be delicious. So it definitely doesn't look super impressive. Just like this. But, and it'll be delicious and when I heat it up it'll get kind of crispy on top and it'll be so yummy mm. I just don't have time tonight to heat it up in the oven a little bit bake it a little bit you know but this will taste really good warmed up in the oven for today's meal prep preparation we are making energy balls not technically a meal but a good energy snack when I need something quick and easy and can grab and go this. So I'm actually making a double batch of just peanut butter, chocolate chip, oat, flax, that sort of thing. And I'm going to make another double batch of the same thing with cocoa added to it. So give me a couple little different flavors here. So Anna is dishing up peanut butter, helping me out, and then I'm going to, I'm working on uh, the rest of the ingredients in here. And we'll get these chilling, and then later we'll roll them into balls. Bites. She's also giving Bethany a snack. Because little girl's hungry these peanut butter chocolate chip energy balls are done freezing so put them in a bag I'm really excited to munch these once I have the baby I'm maybe munching them a little bit beforehand but you know they're really delicious nice little treat nice little snack today for my freezer meal I am making a cabbage sausage casserole so this is pretty easy I'm cooking up some bacon right now and it has bacon some sausage and cabbage and then some herbs 
and it's topped with cheddar cheese. So basically you mix the first three ingredients together with the herbs and spices and stuff. And I actually cook the cabbage because, yeah. Um, and then you bake it till the cheese is melty and the cheese on top and it's done. So it's super easy. I haven't ever frozen this before, so we'll see if it actually turns out that way. So I'm only probably going to do one meal in the freezer and we're going to have some for dinner tonight. So let me show you what I'm doing. The original recipe calls for you cooking up each strip of bacon and then, you know, crumbling it and all that. Um, no, we've got time for that. So I cut it all up first and I'll cook it so it's ready, so it's cooked, and then, yeah, that'll be some faster. Especially since I'm doubling this. I'm going to shred up some cabbage and add it into the bacon grease and put that on nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Next up, I'm frying this head of cabbage in the bacon grease so that it gets kind of soft. The original recipe does not call for this step necessarily. It just says toss it in the bacon grease and then put it in the pan mixed with the bacon so it's kind of layered so bacon and cabbage together and then the ground beef on top but I'm actually using sausage anyway. Um, but I kind of just mix all three of those together because I feel like it gives it more flavor than layering it. So once this, and also I cook it a little bit so that it gets softer because I feel like 15 minutes in the oven it's not going to get that cabbage very soft. We don't really like raw cabbage so that will be perfect that way. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm cooking that up and then I'll cook up some sausage, mix all that together and put in the herbs and stuff and then put it in my pan. Mmm, that is looking yummy. So it's got all the stuff in it. I'm just gonna add some cheddar cheese on top and then warm it up when it's time to eat. It's a little bit early right now, so I'll wait a little bit. And then this half, I will freeze. And ta-da! There's the final product. I probably could have cooked this longer, get a little more crispy at that, but I don't have time for that tonight. I don't know, the random variety of leftovers, so some random leftover french fries, some sweet potato fries, some squash. Some chopped up pear. It'll be yum. Tonight for my freezer meal, I'm making manicotti. So I'm going to make some for dinner tonight. And then I'm also going to freeze at least one batch. Maybe two. I don't know. I'm trying to you know, stay in the frame here <laughs> while I am making these. So I made a batter out of eggs, flour, milk, and salt. And I'm making basically like little crepes. These are the noodles for the manicotti. And then I'll roll them up with a filling. I'll show you that here in a few minutes. I've showed this recipe before, I think. It's not hard, it just takes a little bit of time. But anyway, my thought is I'll freeze the stuffed noodle things and then I'll assemble it in like a casserole thing once I'm ready to eat it. And that'll save space in my freezer because then I don't have to have a 13 by 9 pan or whatever in my freezer taking up space. So that's what I'm doing right now. Working on making the noodles. I made a double batch, so this will definitely make two meals. Because one batch usually feeds us very well. And a double batch will definitely feed us well. So I may split it into three. We'll see how many it makes. So we got one cooking here. It's kind of hard to show because I've got to spread it out with my spoon and don't want to burn myself on my pan. Then I got all those meat back there. Pop on some of this. Cottage cheese, egg, and Parmesan cheese mixture. Put a little breakfast sausage on it. And then roll it up. And this batch for tonight, they're just going in my pan with some sauce on it. And I'll cover them with sauce at the end. Perfect. I have 27 of these all ready to freeze, I think. Because I had 36. And I'm doing 9 for dinner, so that's probably 3 meals worth, honestly. So, yeah. That's tonight's dinner back there. I'll put some sauce and cheese on top of it. Bake it. Delicious. For my last freezer meal, I am making pancakes. And these are oat pancakes. Um, kind of healthy. Got a lot of protein in them. So I'm, I ground up some oats into flour. And then I ground up some cottage cheese, eggs, sweetener, vanilla, and baking powder. And I'm going to combine them. The problem is my bowl is looking a little small. But I also don't have my big bowl down here. So gonna go for it and hope it all works. <laughs> um, this is a Trim Healthy Mama recipe and I don't follow it exactly but I like it a lot and so I'm hoping to make a bunch of pancakes and some waffles and freeze them. So I'm just kind of 
making a huge batch. Like this is probably a 12 times batch. Lots of pancakes. We have lots of pancakes going. <laughs> My waffle iron was not working outside. It, the plug was not working or something. So I ended up coming inside because I also ran out of propane outside. So I'm um, now I'm gonna make waffles and pancakes. And hopefully that will go a little faster. My bowl did not overflow, which is great. So yeah, now I can make lots of faster. We got 36-ish pancakes from that double batch of pancakes that I made. That's several breakfasts for us, which is pretty exciting. Just pop those in the toaster or the microwave, and breakfast is ready. So, pretty excited about that. That wraps up all my freezer meals that I am planning on doing right now. Hopefully, I have a baby soon. <laughs> and you can start enjoying these a lot. I'm pretty excited to have all this food stashed away that I can just pull out an easy meal. Or prep ahead of time in the morning or whatever if baby is being fussy and just all that. So, kind of a little relief in my brain to have all those stashed away. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know some meals you'd make. See you next time.